on WHDH-TV Boston. This is 7 News at 6 on the news station. The accusers, pure pain, relieved. I am really, truly happy that justice really is being served. Tonight, Team 7 coverage of the guilty verdict in the Gagan trial. Good evening. After nine hours of deliberations, the jury convicts the former priest of fondling a 10-year-old. It's the first conviction against the man who's accused of preying on more than 100 children. Seven's Byron Manette begins our team coverage. Well, since the 1960s, former priest John Gagan has been transferred from parish to parish in the Boston area, leaving a string of sexual assault, alleged sexual assault victims behind. Well, today, a jury of eight men and four women spoke for one victim who was assaulted by Gagan 10 years ago. What say you, Mr. Foreperson? Is the defendant guilty or not guilty? Guilty offenses charged in decent assault and battery on a child under 14 years of age. 66-year-old defract priest John Gagan struggled to hold back his emotions after a jury convicted him of molesting a 10-year-old boy at the Waltham Boys and Girls Club swimming pool in 1991. As Gagan was led away, he said a few words to his sister Catherine, who's remained loyally at his side. I'm devastated because I know he's innocent. And I can't understand with all the contradictions and the evidence why that wasn't seen by the jurors. But whatever the jurors saw, they weren't alone. More than 130 alleged victims have come forward to accuse Gagan of molesting or raping them as children during his years as a priest in the Boston Archdiocese. Although the allegations in this case to some may have seemed slight, those of us who work with children and particularly with child victims know that even one incident of unwanted sexual contact or conduct can be harmful to that victim. Gagan's public defender, who chose not to call any witnesses in Gagan's defense, described his client's reaction. I would have to characterize it essentially as shock. I didn't get a chance uh, to talk to him very extensively about um, you know, what's going to happen from here, um, but he was, uh, he was clearly stunned, I think, fair to say. And tonight, this statement just released from the Boston Archdiocese. We hope that the victim finds some measure of consolation and satisfaction in the verdict. We pledge our prayers for all victims of sexual abuse and their families. And as for the victim who testified at this trial yesterday, the DA says she is trying to get a hold of the victim and his family. He is now a 20-year-old college student who has gone back to school overseas. The DA says that she believes the family will be pleased when they hear the verdict. That's a story live from Cambridge. I'm Byron Barnett, 7 News. For Leaf today, for many of Gagan's accusers, uh, one of his alleged victims says the verdict finally brings a sense of justice. The, uh, the jury was, uh, was uh, deliberating for such a long time, so it just makes your mind go. And uh, I'm so happy that he's uh, changing into the orange jumpsuit right now, and I hope he brought a toothbrush. While it isn't your case, you feel vindicated? Uh, I think yeah. all everybody does? Uh, everybody is, and I, I hope all the victims that are out there, that, that at, uh, I hope they're all watching this, and uh, you can... He can at least relax. He'll be in jail till his uh, till his Suffolk case, where he'll get uh, an even uh, stiffer sentence, and then he's going to get here. It was a very emotional day for a Massachusetts mother. Our live Team Seven coverage moves now to Doug Luzader, who has her story. You know, so many stories surround John Gagan inside of court today. We heard just one of them, but we also heard another from a woman outside of court. They finally opened the door to truth. They finally unleashed all the hidden stories that the Archdiocese of our Boston has kept from all of you. An irate Marietta Dussard just before the verdict comes down. Seven members of her family, she says, her three sons and her niece's children were victims of John Gagan. I had to see him today. I had to, know, I had to let the other mother know that she had another mother that believed that this is the best moment she's ever done. This, she should be so proud of what she's doing. Dussard says she's angry that Gagan wears a black suit in court. Too reminiscent, she says, of the days when he was a priest. Outside the courtroom, she waits for a verdict, hands held nervously. Guilty offenses charged in decent assault. I am really, truly happy that justice really is being served. 
and that this young man that shared his story, ha that has opened the door for all of us that have been in pain for so long, has gotten a guilty. Now we asked Dussard what an appropriate sentence would be for Gagan. She thought for a moment and then said, life. We're live in Cambridge. Doug Luzader, 7 News. John Gagan will be sentenced next Wednesday. His second criminal trial begins February 20th in Suffolk Superior Court. Stay with 7 News.